the Carry Special is an old, easy, effective, and perhaps most of all, versatile pattern. For this Carry Special, I'm going to start with a size 10 Dairiki number 710 nymph hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of my tying vise, I load a bobbin with a spool of black 140 denier thread. Get your thread started on the hook shank, leaving an eye length space behind the eye, and take a few wraps rearward before snipping off the tag. Small gold ultra wire is used to rib the fly. A 10 inch length is enough to make numerous flies. Anchor one end of the wire to the hook shank with tight wraps of tying thread. Continue taking thread wraps rearward, binding the wire down as you go. Allow thread torque to carry it to the far side of the hook shank. The thread wrap should go all the way to the start of the hook bend. Then change direction and make open spiral wraps up the shank to about two eye lengths behind the eye. I'm going to use speckled gold and olive Coke de Leon soft hackle for the tail of the fly, but a huge variety of materials and colors can be used. Flip the pelt over to the skin side and pull one of the larger well-formed feathers from the outside edge of the skin. Pull down and strip off many of the lower fuzzy fibers. Then get hold of the feather's tip and pull down on the remaining lower fibers to isolate the tip and snip it off with your tying scissors. The idea is to create a V-shape like this. You can then snip the butt end of the feather off, leaving a small stem handle. Lightly whiting the fibers makes tie-in much easier. Measure to form a tail, a hook shank in length, then transfer that measurement rearward to the start of the bend. Begin securing the feather to the top of the hook shank, and after a few wraps, pull up and snip off the excess butt end. Continue taking thread wraps rearward to bind the fibers to the top of the hook shank, all the way back to the start of the bend. Then, advance your thread forward to just in front of the hook point. A wide variety of materials can be used to form the body on the carry special. Here, I'm going to use brown olive rabbit fur dubbing. Pull an ample clump free from the packet or dispenser, then pull down on your bobbin to expose four to five inches of thread. Use the dubbing to form a slender, four inch or so long dubbing noodle. Start taking wraps with the noodle so the dubbing begins right at the base of the tail and follow with touching wraps forward to form the body of the fly. Do leave ample space behind the hook eye. Get hold of the gold wire and begin making open spiral wraps with it over top of the dubbing to add a little segmentation and shimmer. When you reach your tying thread, use it to firmly anchor the wire. Brace the hook with the nozzle of your bobbin, then helicopter to break the wire off close. Although not absolutely necessary, I like to build up the thorax a bit using a small pinch of brown olive SLF dubbing. A short little dubbing noodle is all that's required. Take wraps with the noodle to build a bulbous little thorax and end with your thread about an eye length behind the hook eye. A smaller feather from the same Coque de Leon soft hackle skin as before is used to hackle the fly. I like the fibers to be as long as the entire hook or longer. Strip some of the lower fuzzy stuff off to expose the stem and leave a tip of good looking fibers. With the shiny side of the feather facing you, lay the stem against the near side of the hook and take a few thread wraps to secure it. Then. Give the stem a little tug to bring some of the fibers just under the back wraps. Once done, snip the excess stem off close and take a few more wraps to really lock things down. And with your tying thread behind the hook eye. Get hold of the feather's tip with hackle pliers and pull it up to vertical. Preen the fibers back and down with the fingertips of your left hand. When you've got most of them pointing rearward, begin taking wraps with the feather. I actually count and do only two full wraps. Kind of like martinis at lunch, one's not enough and three's definitely too many. Once the wraps are complete, use your tying thread to bind down the stem and then snip the excess off close. Preen the fibers rearward and take a few thread wraps to hold them back in this orientation. If you need to go up on top of the fibers to make this happen, by all means do. With everything looking good, complete a five or six turn whip finish seat the knot well, and snip or cut your tying thread free. A drop of head cement, or here, UV Cure Resin, will really help to secure the final thread wraps and create a neat head on the fly. 
Consider this a starting point for tie and carry specials, and don't be afraid to experiment with different materials, colors, and sizes. Just about everything is fair game for this pattern.